Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to MVR. Today I'm going to show you how to sideload applications onto your Oculus Quest 1 or 2 using SideQuest. Not only will this let you unlock numerous features that are normally not available on your Quest, it will also let you play hundreds of games and experiences that you cannot find anywhere else. Some of my favorite include the Virtual Desktop Client patch, which will let you stream Steam VR games like Half-Life Alex directly to your Quest, as well as Pavlov and many other ports of classic games, which will let you experience them in entirely new ways. The best part is that this is totally legal and supported by Oculus, as well as the fact that many of these games are absolutely free. So without further ado, let's jump in. So let's kick off this guide with a list of requirements. Obviously, you're going to need an Oculus Quest 1 or 2. You will need a computer that runs either Windows, Mac, or Linux, and you will need a USB data cable to connect the two devices together. This can also be the charging cable that came with your Quest, which is the cable that I use. So with that out of the way, let's move on to step one, creating a developer account. If you have a merged Facebook account, you can use that to log in at dashboard.oculus.com. If you do not want to use a merged Facebook account, you can also go to developer.oculus.com forward slash sign up to create an unmerged Oculus developer account, which you can then use to proceed. Finally, click on create a new organization and sign up with any name you wish. Once that's done, you can move on to step two. Step two is installing ADB drivers to let your Quest headset communicate with your PC. If you're on Mac or Linux, you can skip this step as these drivers are installed already. If you're on Windows, however, click on the link in the description down below, accept the terms and conditions, and then press download. Once the download is complete, extract the archive, go into the USB underscore driver folder, right click Android underscore WinUSB and hit install. When you get a prompt that the install is successful, go ahead and reboot your PC. Step three, activate developer mode on your Quest by going to the settings tab of the Oculus app on your smartphone. Once there, hit more settings and enable developer mode. Quick and painless. Step four, now that we have developer mode activated, it's time to hook up the Quest to the PC using a USB cable that we prepared earlier. If this is the first time that you're connecting the Quest to this specific PC, you will be prompted with a pop-up inside of the headset asking you to allow USB debugging. Check always allow to prevent having to deal with this pop-up again and hit OK. Now moving on to the final step, step five, which is installing SideQuest itself. Click on the link in the description down below and go to sidequestvr.com and click Get SideQuest to download the latest version of the installer. Once the download is complete, run the installer, complete the installation, and run SideQuest. Once the SideQuest app is open, you can check that your headset is properly connected by looking at the small circular dot in the top left corner. If it's green, that means you've successfully connected and you can start using the app. From here on out, click on any of the games that you see and hit install to headset. A task will start running which will inform you when the installation is complete. You can find any of the side loaded apps on your headset by going to your app library using the drop down menu in the top right corner and selecting unknown sources. If you're looking for some good side quest apps to install I've also made a video that you can check out for some suggestions. And that's all there is to it complete step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your quest for side loading. It sure takes a few steps to get it set up, but it's a one-time thing and once it's set up, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. One quick thing to note though, is that while this method of side loading will work for some time, starting early 2021, Oculus plans to tighten its grip and offer up a new curated platform to let developers side load their apps to the Quest instead of using SideQuest. Now while this does make the entire process a whole lot simpler, it does make me slightly concerned about the future of certain apps and experiences that might not meet the Facebook stamp of approval going forward. Once the new method of distribution goes live, I'll be sure to do an updated video on how to continue using SideQuest, but in the meantime, I'm also curious to 
know what you guys think about this upcoming change. If you experienced any problems while following this guide, or if you would like to share what some of your favorite SideQuest apps and experiences are, I'd be happy to discuss them in the comments down below. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll be sure to see you guys next time.